Good morning, good morning, good morning guys. Happy Saturday, happy first of the month. It is, I never do like Vlogtober because I always do Vlogmas, but you guys know I do Vlogs every other month. And also this, <laughs> this month is going to be crazy because next week I have finals. And then the week of finals, I get my own flow. And also the week of finals, or I should say midterm finals, my parents stay for two weeks to Guatemala. So that's exciting. But I'm gonna go get this to breakfast and talk to you a little bit. Also, we're going to a Girl Scout meeting. I'm so excited. Savannah's a Girl Scout. Potentially. So yeah, that's what we're going to Okay, talk to this a little bit. How are they guys? So, best thing ever is reheated lasagna. Literally. Best thing ever is reheated lasagna. By the way, this is my big fan that you always hear. Which works miracle because my room does get stuck. So that's why I'm, I always have it on when I'm in. Also, lemonade. I love these Starbucks cups. Oh yeah. All right guys, so this is one of the most easiest assignments currently that I'm working on. It's for my music tech class. I literally have to just copy and paste these answers with Kenner's, um, writing with his like um, answers basically so this is my for my tech this is the questions of technology and all of that and how it works and i decided to interview kenner because he um has done like techno beats like he does like techno beats on the side um and he works with logic pro and things like that other than just as like a as like a hobby on the side and besides being a really good pianist, incredible pianist in my opinion, he does this on the side and that's like the first person that popped into my mind. So I quote unquote interviewed him, but I just sent him, you know, the questions because I couldn't go to El Camino because of school and traffic and all of that and, you know, over expensive. So this is my first assignment of the day. And since he doesn't take Google Docs, or I should say, um, Canvas doesn't take Google Docs, no idea why, um, I have to do it on this word, which word is free for me because it's connected to my, um, my account for, um, So yeah, so just to copy and paste everything. And then after copy and paste, I'll write like a little, blurb of what I learned and things like that about Kenner, which is technically is Mr. Bailey, but Dr. Bailey almost, <laughs> but pretty much it's self-explanatory, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, just copy and paste, and then upload it to Canvas, and then I'm done with that assignment, which I believe this is worth like 100 points. Alright guys, so this is the second thing I have to do. I have to do a thing about her, which is due on Monday, but I want to do it today. And I get listen to her speak and also some interviews, but I'm just going to wing it. And yeah, so, yeah, that's my second thing. And with this one, I can actually to use Google Docs because I don't need to use my word because I'm going to basically copy and paste. So yeah. She's a female composer because this is women's in music in history. So, so part three of my assignments, this is, this week we are talking about intersectionality or uh, sexuality. Um, I gotta read a 
poem and this article by her by Kimberly Crenshaw which I'm very interested in this topic I really like it one two yeah so and also I'm doing my handy dandy so yeah part three and I really love this class she I love well I don't know her but I love my teacher they are incredibly amazing um Dr. Green is an amazing teacher and I love how they teach the class. So yeah, that's my part three. And I already did part two on part three. Uh, part one, part two. So yeah. Help me pick one of these. Mm, well, you pick other. You pick one. <laughs> Purple, nice. Okay. Grab one. Is this in here? Uh huh. Is it? You made it? Yes, you mix it. <laughs> Yeah, you time to make sunny. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Ooh. I need it to break. It's white chocolate. Ah, there you go. Mm. Close this. <laughs> it's not breaking. <laughs> you have to mix it. Yeah. A little. Quite a lot. No? Is that yours? Look. Finally popped. <laughs> mix it. You want me to break this part too? No. It's gonna melt, Mama. Can I cook now, Priscilla? Okay, Mom. Thank you. Okay. Love you. Dinner is served. First time trying these little chocolate balls. These things are very popular. In a pandemic, which they came back and they're still. I'm blogging. What happened? I'm blogging. Oh, good. Yeah. But I always love hot chocolates. <laughs> I don't mind. I will drink it again. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna end it here for now. I had uh, technically breakfast for dinner. For dinner. And I worked on three assignments and I filled up my passport today. So technically, I took you on a semi-productive, I took a couple breaks between my like classes and things like that or my homework projects or whatever. Um, but overall, it was a pretty productive day. And yeah. So yes, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. I guess I'll update you know, my hair routine and all of that. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. May the Lord bless you today, tomorrow and always, and I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye. Good morning, good evening, happy 
Sunday. It's a one taker. It is currently 8.44 p.m. And I wanted to show you my hair care routine. Now this, this maintain, I don't like the shampoo and conditioner. But this takes out my tangles like nothing. It's um, extra strength. It is, yeah, it is extra strength. Detangle that extra strength. Maximizes curl defense. Strengthens and conditions. Now this does make your hair grow. But I love it because it takes my hair and I like, now in Maryland, this shampoo worked wonder for me. Shampoo and conditioner. But in LA, since this is a different climate, it does not work. I don't know. I guess it's just the climate. But this is really good and it works better than this. Because this didn't do anything for my hair. It just made it really, really oily. And I can tell because that's keratin. My hair cannot do anything with keratin in it. it. It makes it really, really oily if it has keratin. Is it good? If you can do with keratin, your hair can do with keratin, and, you know, keratin, um, then yes. But would I recommend it? Mm, sort of, I would say if your hair can withstand keratin, my hair cannot. But if your hair can, then I would recommend it. But it makes my hair really oily. So I'll give this a 3.5. Would I buy it again? No. And I think this was like 10 bucks, give or take. And this was like $7.99. Well, basically 8 bucks. But worth every penny. Because this, I can go like this. Completely go like this, and my tangles will not be so tangled. Even when there's tangles on this hair, it doesn't pull it. Now, I need to go get a haircut. Y'all guys know my hair saga. My hair saga is atrocious. It is incredibly atrocious. I went to Supercuts and Naomi, I think her name was, didn't want to come here because my hair was knotted and matted and it's disgusting. But I did not have this with me. And yes, my hair does get matted and to the point that I have to cut it. That's why it looks very uneven. Some parts look very uneven, especially from the top. My hair is usually thick than this, but it just looks very uneven because there was like a big matted portion and I could not, physically could not, I had to physically cut it. Is it the most healthy thing for my hair? No, but I am going to get better shampoo and conditioner this week. Also, the shampoo and conditioner does matter what you use, at least for me, what it actually does. Now, I use Neutrogena before I knew it was bad for your hair. Now I can tell a difference. Now granted, I, it, I feel like it cleans my hair, but I feel like in a couple, like let's say in like a day, like it cleans it and then the next day, sometimes it gets really, really um, oily for some reason. I don't know. But once I take it out of the shower, I can tell the difference that it cleans it. But the next day, it feels a little itchy, a little scratchy. I just don't like that. And I used to be a big fan of, like, I used to buy their box size. Now I can't buy their box size because it doesn't, my hair doesn't take. When it comes to their box size, I usually go to Sally's to buy my um, hair product. My, my hair product. <laughs> my um, dye to dye my hair. I've been living on a while. I need to go down my hair and also cut it at the same time. But um, I'm planning to use, I'm not going to buy raw sugar again because once again, it does my for shampoo, absolutely. 
But for conditioner, I felt like it, the suit did it really tangled. Or when my hair was really tangled, it didn't do anything for my hair when it was tangling. And I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like how it felt right here. The soap and soap and... What was it called? I think it was soap and box. So, soap box. Now, yes, it was good. And it was tree tree oil in it. I didn't like the smell of tree tree oil, but I did like how it made my hair clean. Besides the tree tree oil um, conditioner and shampoo, the smell, besides that, I would definitely buy it again. And I believe they do sell it at Target. But I heard really great reviews, which I really want to try. They have like the mini versions of the Christian, Christian Issa, Christian Issa, the pink bottles. I'm going to try that. And I heard those are really, really good for any type of hair. You want to grow your hair, make it shiny, whatever. That's what you go for. So I want to try that. And they also have like those bottles. And they also have like the dark gray bottles, which are similar but i think they're they're different products but i'm gonna try to hype because i wanted to try the monday brand but a lot of people say don't try monday because i looked it up on tiktok it ruined hair now things that ruined my hair that i would not recommend i definitely would not recommend mally beauty for sure i would not recommend um Functional Beauty from Target. It gave me a bald spot like that. Now that was way horrible than what I'm currently using now. I used to wash my hair. And then when it would dry, it would still be goddamn oily. How the hell does that work? We don't know. Literally. Because I remember for Liam's B-Day, I washed it. I literally washed it like that morning. And as soon as it would dry, I told Billy, my one of my best friends, Billy, you guys seen her in the vlog. Hey, do my hair, can you, like, tangle? And she's like, what the hell is wrong with your hair? Why does it look so greasy and oily? I'm like, I washed it today. What are you talking about? Literally, I washed it that morning because I remember washing it that morning and then changing and putting on my makeup and things like that. And then, obviously, because it was, like, two hours away, so by the time I got there... It was a couple hours later, and then my hair was disgustingly oily. Like, no, 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 no. It looks greasy, it looks oily, it looks disgusting. And I remember, and it also gave me a really big ball spot right here. And yeah, that was just horrible. So I would not recommend those two products. Would I recommend sugar, um, sugar, uh, raw sugar? Yeah, I didn't personally like it for my hair, but I would recommend it. And yes. I would recommend this line as well, even though I didn't like it on my hair. It was good, but I didn't like it on my hair. So, yeah, that's my hair journey. I'm still trying to figure out, hopefully, the Christian Ash, the Christian, um, Christian Essence or Essence, whatever it's called. I'll show you when I get it on. When I get it, because I need to go to Target on. Friday, but overall, pretty much. Oh, also, this is really, really, really good. I do want to try the shampoo and conditioner in this because it's really good. It does not wear my hair down, and I really like how it smells. And it does not, like, it doesn't, um, it doesn't weigh my hair down and it doesn't like leave a greasy foam to it. So these are the only two products besides shampoo and conditioner. And this is a lifesaver. This big paddle brush, this is just a regular paddle brush that I found at Marshall's when I go when I remember I bought my my backpack um for the semester. Which I really like, by the way. But this is like a big, large paddle. And like, oh, it's, it's this big, large paddle brush. Pink. And it was like 4 bucks, four ninety nine, five bucks, five ninety nine, basically. With tax and everything. I bought this one and I bought my Adidas backpack. 
And this one really, really, it does not pull my hair one bit. One bit. Which I really, really like. But overall, these are the only two products that I have been using. And I do want my hair to grow because I don't think I have, would have time. Probably during Vlogmas to cut my hair. Possibly. Possibly. If not, probably in the beginning of the year, I'll cut my hair because I've been waiting. I want to try products to actually let my hair grow and make it look even. So, yeah. So, these are the current two products that I've been using on my hair. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. These last, these couple of weeks are going to be very, very, this whole month is going to be very crazy because... We're going into midterms, we have a paper, I have a paper due, I have my first, like, mini paper due, it's just going to be insane, my first concert, which I am going to take you guys, we're doing it in, um, we are literally doing it in our, um, school's quote-unquote little auditorium or our choir room, give or take. So, I don't know how much I can film of our quote-unquote concert, but I'll try. I will definitely blog the more advanced choir, because it's us first. We are singing 30, I think it's only 30 minutes, because we're doing Laki, I think, okay, so we're doing Laki Masa, which I think is going to be the last piece. We're doing River, um, not River, uh, the Yam Zole. Alleluia, repeat, we're doing, um, Wonder Thirst by Florence Price, which all the other versions I can find somewhat, and I put it in my Google, not my Google, my playlist of choir music, besides, uh, the, uh, Florence Price piece, which I really like, but there's, the only thing I can find is actually the weird, it's a poem actually, we're singing the poem, but she put it to music, um, which I can't find, oh, the only thing I can find of, of her Price music is her, like, symphonies and things like that, because that's what she was known for, um, Besides, other than that, her choir music I can't find. And I found the poem that we're singing in, which is uh, Wander Thirst. Um, it's a pretty song, but I only found a poem. Couldn't find it on Spotify. And every other song I could somewhat, whatever version, not the same version of we're singing in. But I have a playlist, I want to have a playlist just to look back. On, okay, yeah, this is what we were singing at that time in that period. Everything is on there from Mozart to um, John Rudder, all the pieces we did on John Rudder. And I'm not including Patty's, um, remember when Dr. Nashef had a um, leave of absence? I'm not including that because it was like a new experimental and it was literally um, a different type of music. And I don't even remember half of the pieces that we sung with Patty. And that was an interesting semester. I remember that semester because Joanna took a semester, a like sabbatical, because there was not before Dr. Price got there. Um, Berkeley Price. I don't know if he's still, a, I don't know if he's still the dean. Um, because I don't know who the dean is now. I don't know. I heard he retired or he was going to retire. I don't know who's the dean now. So, yeah, I remember. Um, but everything from Mozart to Handel to the Mass in G. So, um, some really, a lot of masks, a lot of, a lot of, um, the one that we sung at Carnegie Hall. And Lenore knows his mass is on there, like a couple of songs then, you know, because I really love like, like, um, Requiems, because that's what we mostly sing, at least in choirs, that's what we mostly sing, and I love Mozart, even though we're doing one piece, which is the Lucky Mozart, 
And yes, it is a bitch to sing even though you're in the alto section. They get really, 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 really low. Okay, I'm done talking about myself. I'm done ranting. Done ranting. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's going to be a very interesting month. I'm, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting month. Happy October! I'm not going to be blogging every single day. Because it's crazy this month. But I'm going to be vlogging every other day. So, yeah. And it's just, just going to be very, 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 very crazy. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Also, we are getting new music from um, Robert this, this week. I'll show you guys on Thursday um, what we get. Alrighty, guys. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. May the Lord bless you today, tomorrow, always, and I'll be seeing you. Bye, guys.